The next type of chart that we'll talk about is a line chart. You may be wondering, what is a line chart? In school, we used to plot data on x-axis and y-axis. Similarly, in the stock market, prices are recorded on the y-axis and time is plotted on the x-axis. The plotting of price versus time in this manner results in a line chart. In the stock markets, prices keep on moving up and down. In life, just like we get lost without a direction. Even in the stock markets too, it is important to know where the prices are heading. Hence, the first aspect we'll talk about is direction, that is trends of the market. There are three trends in the market, uptrend, downtrend and a sideways trend. What are these trends? We can define trends in two ways. One of the ways is by simply seeing the chart. Just like the name suggests, when you see an upward slope in the line chart, it reflects an uptrend. It is a sign of prices increasing. Similarly, a downward slope in the line chart reflects a downward trend. It is a sign of prices falling down. When there is no clear upward or downward slope and the prices are moving up and down horizontally, it reflects a sideways trend. The second way of identifying trends is by placing bottoms and tops manually on the price chart. We start by placing bottoms and tops. This point is called as bottom and this point is called as top. Now if the next bottom is higher than the previous bottom, it is called as a higher bottom and if the top is higher than the previous top, it is called as a higher top. When you see a series of higher bottoms and higher tops on the price chart, it is said to be an uptrend. Just like the concept of higher bottoms and tops, we can plot lower bottoms and lower tops by comparing them to the previous bottoms and tops. When we see a series of lower bottoms and lower tops on the price chart, it is said to be a downtrend. Now let's look at this line chart. We place the first bottom and top. The next bottom is lower than the previous bottom and hence we call it as a lower bottom. But the second top is higher than the previous top and hence it is called as a higher top. The third bottom is higher than the second bottom and hence we call it as a higher bottom. And the third top is lower than the previous top and hence called as a lower top. Please note that while placing bottoms and tops, you always have to consider the previous bottoms and tops to mark them higher or lower. In the current price chart, there is neither a series of higher bottoms and higher tops, nor there is a series of lower bottoms and lower tops. Such a line chart indicates a sideways trend in the market. I hope the concept of trends is clear with everyone. Let's see how do we identify these trends in different time frames in the next video.